summer fun here at Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. And guess what? We are about to introduce you to one of their newest additions. And joining me right now is Jared Forthman, and you are holding that new addition, right? That's right. We are, are really so excited to announce three albino alligators have made their way here didn't come from the best of situations, so they came here to be rehabilitated. Uh, we weren't sure if they were even gonna make it, so I'm so proud to uh, be showing you guys just an extremely healthy albino alligator right now that's joined our, uh, our collection out here. And this is incredible to look at. I mean, they are extremely rare, right? And just for reference, I mean, this is of course a non-albino. That's right, that's right. So in captivity, uh, there's estimated to be less than 200 of them um, in the wild. There hasn't been any sightings in a long, long time. Uh, I think a big reason for that is obviously a, an, al an albino alligator born into the wild uh, with this coloration it has no camouflage. Uh, so many predators out there, so they just don't make it very long if they do hatch. But because alligators have, I mean, they don't really make it a lot, don't make it to adulthood, right? For that reason, just predators? That's right, okay. yeah. Say there's maybe 50 alligators hatched out of a nest, you may have maybe 10% on the high end that actually make it to adulthood. Okay. All right, so of course being an albino alligator, sensitive to the sun to say the least. Yeah, absolutely. So their eyes are extremely sensitive. They can get sunburn uh, just like the palest of people. Albino alligators will sunburn just the same. So I completely relate. We definitely have to, uh, to take good care of these guys. So how old, give or take, are, are, is the alligator well, right now? We would estimate him to be anywhere from three to four years old. Uh, having a good upbringing, uh, we're kind of unsure about his full history. We just know that we were brought in uh, to give these guys some better care. Uh, but maybe three or four, but at the same time could be even up to 10 years old. So folks can come out and see these guys because there are three of them, right? That's and they're right. They're going to be on display. That's right. During our alligator show every day at 11.30 and 3.30, these guys will be out here for you to see. Uh, we also offer, and I believe we are the only ones, at least in Texas doing this, offering animal encounters where you can get up close and personal with these guys, actually help hold them, get pictures with them, uh, sit down with one of our keepers and just hear all about them. So cool stuff. And of course, beyond the albino alligators, you've got the alligator and crocodile show, right? That's right. That's every Sunday at three o'clock. We're going in there and feeding just some monsters that make these look like itty bitty babies. We're doing a hand feeding, super exciting, uh, awesome show to watch. Again, Sundays at three o'clock. So lots of fun, of course, to have here at Animal World and Snake Farm over the summer because that's just one of the animal encounters you can have, right? That's right. Uh, here we offer up close and personal experience with skunks, foxes, different types of lemurs, giant pythons, I mean, you name it. Uh, we really wanna give, especially the kids, these, these up close, hands-on experiences with animals that just really touch them for a lifetime. So that's our goal and mission out here. All right, tell folks how they can come on out. All right, well, we're located just south of New Braunfels on IH35 at exit 183. Check us out on our website, AWSF Zoo, and uh, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. For more information on Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link.